Hi hey everybody, it's here Patsy and I am doing the general reading for the month of July 2018 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So hi Leo, I know this is like what's going on, we're the next to the last, but I had so many readings to do for Leos and I uploaded them so you can uh, check them out, personal readings that I did. And uh, last month, I ended up doing two general readings for you. So I just thought it was, you know, a little fair to let me get everybody else done. And you are next to last, but, and is uh, almost 2 o'clock in the morning, and I still got one more to do after you. So thank you all for your viewing of the uh, reading for Leo, oh, it's amazing. It's just, it's just amazing. Um, you all have just been wonderful, and I'm hoping that everything is going well for everyone. And uh, thank you for your subscriptions, your likes, your shares, and your comments, and your requests for personalized readings. And um, anyway, I have to get on with this. And uh, but just understand and know that I am so grateful for all of the comments and all of the views and everything. And this is just for my own edification because I still haven't heard from YouTube at all about what their plans are. Um, I've hit all of their um, goals, so I don't know. But I know that they said that they're backed up, and we just have to wait. Just as I wish for everyone to be patient with me, who I haven't gotten to yet. But it's only me doing this, you know, one operation. I'm uploading to two channels. I can't even get anybody at um, uh, YouTube to, you know, return the phone calls or to pick up the phone so that I can find out if I can uh, combine the channels so that I don't lose any of my subscribers by shutting down one channel. If I can combine them, then... Um, I'd only have to do one upload for each one of the videos, so already it takes a long time. But I don't want to abandon those people who have been faithful um, on the other channel because uh, they their numbers are growing too. Um, it, it fluctuates back and forth, but you don't have to stop being a viewer on this channel to be a viewer on that channel. It's all the same content. So I would like to uh, see if I can comp combine them. But right now I'm tired and I need to get started with your reading. So what I did was I went through the, um, the January general energies that I had gotten for all of the signs. And um, at that time, we said that the energy that... Uh, had been synchronized to the uh, inner child cards was Beauty and the Beast, all right? So your card is a strength card and Beauty and the Beast is the equivalent of that in the inner child card deck by Mark and Isha Lana. So Beauty and the Beast. I'll show you. Now in the Orisha deck from the Tower of the Orishas by Zerlock and Durkhan, the energies that are assigned to the Strength card, there are three in this particular deck. The first um, energy is Legua. The second energy is Echu. And the third energy is Pombagria, female Echu. So, what is the Echu? Allegra, Echu, Pombagrina are all um, aspects of the uh, Allegra. Allegra is um, synchronized with Saint Michael. Uh, the Archangel, 
He's all, he's also synchron, synchronized with Saint Joseph, and the female energy Pomagria is synchronized with uh, Maria of the Seven Crossroads, Maria Padilla, Padilla, and Maria Malambo. Okay, so those are uh, the energies. All right. Um, so Beauty and the Beast. We know that story is with Belle. It takes place in France, and she ends up having to live with the beast, who is actually an enchanted prince. Um, this talks about looking past the surface, okay, and to give your relationship a chance, to give your friendship a chance, and uh, being gentle with a person as you're getting to know them and being gentle with yourself, okay? So seeing the beauty in a person beyond their physical attributes, so very nice. Okay, so again, Eshu, Elegua, and um, Tomagria are all different roads roads or paths of the same Orisha Allegra and uh, this energy can be seductive okay but and so can any of these energies actually but the uh, main energy Again, it's about opportunities. It's about standing strong. All right. Um, also, could be talking about playing a few tricks on you, you know. Um, this colors are red and black. Okay. So, that's one of the things that we can uh, look to. So that, okay, and as I said, we know the story of Beauty and the Beast, all right? They'll learn to appreciate and love the beast. Now, gonna get we got five cards from the Archangel, Archangel Power Tarot, and that is by Doreen Virtue and Randy Radley Valentine. The first card that came for you here is the five of Gabriel. Gabriel is similar to wands. Um, yeah, similar to wands and fire. Okay, so this is the five of Gabriel. So this talks about walking away from a chaotic situation, having patience with yourself and others around you, this could be talking about family drama, family issues, um, saying that if this is other people's conflict, walk away from it. If it has nothing to do with you, keep it moving. Okay, this is talking about a challenge that you can resolve. But I guess it means that you would need to stay neutral in order to be able to resolve it. Next card that came here was the Knight of Ariel. So that's like the Knight of Coins. This is someone who is trustworthy and understanding. Um, this talks about being watched over by someone who is kind and gentle. And I would imagine that that would be Ego. And... Coming up with a detailed plan to affect the outcome that you are seeking. All right? Knight of Ariel. This is a slow moving energy, but it's coming. It, you can count on it. The next card that came here for you was Ten of Michael. This is similar to the Ten of Swords, right? So, 
um, again, putting down a burden. All right. Uh, there are new opportunities that you were beginning to follow and uh, putting the past behind you. So this is coming out of something that was holding you down or making you very depressed. The next card here was three of Gabriel. Okay, again, a fire sign. Prosperity is arising from wise planning. It's time to take the next step. These are plans that turned out as expected. All right, optimistic plans. So this is following your plan, following your desire, taking steps towards bringing prosperity towards you because you've already manifested it to you towards your financial planning and now it's time to take the next step, okay? Things are going to turn out better than you expected. And the last card here is Queen of Raphael. This is talking about being able to trust the information that you're receiving psychically. This is about um, loving your home and your family. But it also talks about following your heart. That may be mutually exclusive. Um, I am tired and sleepy. Mm -hmm. This could be what was I going to say? Mutually what? Oh, I don't know. But follow your intuition. It's bringing you good answers. All right. Mutually exclusive. Okay. Okay. Exclusive of one another. I don't even remember what the sentence was. That's how tired I am. I'm going to try to finish this and then I'm just going to have to do Taurus when I get to my destination because I need to sleep because I will be driving for a few hours. Thank goodness the graduation isn't until the next day. I can at least take a little bit of time, but I have to leave at a certain hour because I'm bringing other people with me, right? So, Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can get some information from the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck. And that is by Kim Dwyer. Hmm. Oh. And I drank the Red Bull. I certainly did. But I was having pains in my leg. I was trying to avoid that for as long as I could. And no luck. So I took one Tylenol. And that is what's gotten me sleepy. Okay. Thank you so much, Conscious Spirit Oracle. This is number 13, Solar Plexus Chakra. Okay, so this is something that you're feeling really deep inside of you, okay? This also talks about taking actions to awake your personal power, all right? So you have lots of gifts, and you just haven't been putting them to use as you could because you're not aware of them yet or you don't know how to work them. So I think what it's saying is that you should take some time to learn about your spiritual gifts and how you can... Use them to manifest whatever it is that you are looking for. The next card here was number 18, Air Elemental. So these are messages that are coming from Spirit. Okay, 1 and 8 is 9. Okay, so this is messages from your ego that you are paying attention to. Okay, and you are embracing the wisdom of the older people around you or people who have been through this experience themselves. You're taking their advice, and you're slowing down. Okay, let's see if we can get some energy from the right away tarot. All right. In regards to 
Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, thank you. So you got the King of Pentacles and the Empress. Hmm, so this could be an Earth sign. This could be any of any female, but looks like something happened and he's had to respond to it somehow. And she is definitely in charge. Okay, the next card that came here for you was the five of wands. So this is fighting for your reputation, fighting against controversy. People who are coming at you from all sides and you're standing your ground with them. Excellent. And mm -hmm. the next card here is the Knight of Swords. So this is some truth that you are waiting for or that you are going to be bringing some clarity that you're going to be bringing to the situation. So maybe if people are making slanderous uh, conversations about you behind your back that you have been trying to fight against, you're going to come with the ammunition that you need in order to defend yourself and to put a stop to this foolishness. Okay. And you have the Four of Cups, so this is about making choices okay things that you can live with okay looking at what is ahead of you but not looking as to what god's plan is for you or what god is offering you you're just looking at the mundane things that you can see all right even if they're not making you happy right now you are always going to be watching them because these are important people to you but it's saying to look up and you you may have an answer that you hadn't considered yet but that the creator is bringing that answer to you okay very nice okay bottom of the deck of the lovers mm, so maybe this has to do with some love situation for you that you have Maybe you're going to be getting a message about this person or this situation, or you're going to be talking to someone. You're going to be speaking your mind, okay? And if it has to do with this situation, just be careful. All right, so from the numerology deck, 41, self-discipline. Again, be careful. Form 1 is 5, 5 are changes. So there are things that are going to be happening around you that's going to cause you to have to discipline yourself right or you're going to end up getting caught up in stuff that you had no intention of getting caught up in all right very nice all right let's see if we can get some cards from the mermaids and dolphins okay mermaids and dolphins and that's by randy valentine and No, it's not. It's by, oh my goodness, this is by um, Doreen Virtue. Mother healing. As your feelings towards your mother heals, you desire, your desires manifest more rapid, rapidly and accurately. So there may be an issue that you have with your mother or someone close to you who is a mother. Okay, but this is saying that if you can work on those family issues, it may free up space in the rest of your life for other people. Okay, so work on that. Okay, check into what it is. You may not know right now, or you may be in denial of it, whatever the issue is. But the advice is to take time and straighten it out. Okay, so if you have to get counseling or something, Please feel free to do that. That'll probably be the best thing for you. All right. So, any more? Okay. Thank you. Divine magic. Ashe. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. 
So if you haven't given up on the situation yet, be advised. It's all right. Have faith. They're going to take care of the situation for you. And you're going to be glad that you waited. Okay, so. Let's see if we can get anything from the Native Spirit Oracle by Denise Lynn. The card that came for you was Freedom Horse. Who else got this? Could have been anybody. I've been doing all these readings today. But someone got Freedom Horse. Let me see if I can figure it out. Maybe Libra? I'm not sure. Could have been. But Freedom Horse. So this is about not being burdened down or heavily laden by anybody else's drama. Let's see what else this is. Mm, I'm really tired. <laughs> okay. This is talking about letting your spirit fly. Do not hold back. Break free and express yourself. Get out of a rut. Be daring. Fling your arms to the heavens to manifest joy. Okay? The horse allowed the natives of the Americas to travel great distances with ease. The horse also carried their supplies, which additionally granted freedom to those people, those ancient people. This card allowed this uh, this card chose to remind you that you aren't here to be ordinary, but to step beyond limitations and self-imposed boundaries. Do not allow yourself to be trapped by conventions or the expectations of others. You have the ability to choose your life on your terms. Maybe the phrase I should with I replace the phrase I should with I could, but I choose not to at this time. Perhaps you aren't always free to create the exact circumstances of your life, but you're certainly able to decide what meanings to give to those situations. Select the meanings that empower you, for this is the time to break free. So, mm. So this is talking about you having gifts to give, all right? Um, you having the ability to change your own mind because of your own movements, okay? Um, don't allow yourself to be dragged into other people's drama or a belief system that you are not privy to and that you are not interested in. It may be coloring the way that you handle this current situation. Right? So, be free. I right? Don't be held back by anybody or anything. You have um, divine magic on your side. And you have some healing that you need to get from your mother. Sit down and have a talk. You have to have a few talks, hire a counselor or take it to counseling sessions, whatever it is, but pray about it, okay? So anyway, thank you very much for allowing me to bring you these messages today, and I will be talking to you all real soon. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to have to go to bed. I'll get up and uh, do the last reading when I get up to get the phone call from my family telling me that they need me to pick them up at the train station. It is going to be just lots of fun tomorrow. But I need to get some sleep because I need to be responsible. I'm the one that's doing the driving. So 
I will be talking to you all soon. And I wish you all to have a really good June. I will be coming back to do your uh, love bites towards the end of the month. Okay? So thank you so much for your patience, your time, and I'll be speaking to you all soon. Bye. <laughs>